Come in. Hi. Good morning, Abby. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Meredith Bresney in the sales force. Great. I'm really glad we got to talk last time at the alumni today. It's good to see you again. Yes, it's great to see you. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. You know, a good start to the week so far. What about yourself? Doing well. Again, I'm just really excited to meet with you today. I know it was great to talk with you, kind of small world, how Eric introduced us mm -hmm. at the tailgate. I know. Oh. Very surprising that we both got to work for, for him before this. Exactly. I feel like Terry is such a good network and mm -hmm. we don't really utilize it or realize how great it is until we kind of get out of Georgia and the workforce Absolutely. and start really needing Once it. Once you get out of Athens, everything changes. <laughs> exactly. Well, before we do get started today, I know we exchanged numbers, but I did want to give mm -hmm. you my business Thank card. You. It has personal email, phone number, so if you have any questions or comments when I talk, just give me a call. Okay. I will awesome. love Thank to you answer. For this. Of course. Well, I know that when we set this appointment, we said we had 20 minutes. Is that still correct? Yes. Still okay. a short time today. Sorry. No, no worries at all. I know that we're both needing to um, talk and just really see the value in this conversation, so 20 minutes will be perfect. Okay. Great. Yes. And are there any other people that would benefit from being in this meeting that you would like to have listen in on this conversation? Uh, later on, possibly. But as of right now, I think that I'm really going to be your liaison between yourself at for Salesforce and Yeti. So right now, I think it's just going to be me. You're in the driver's seat. I like yes, it. Yes. <laughs> today's the day for me. Awesome. That's great. Well, like we did say, I know that we do have 20 minutes, so I have taken the liberty to just make a soft agenda for us today. Okay. So to walk through that, I want to start and learn a little bit more about you and your role and just your company with Yeti in general. And second mm -hmm. of all, hear about your future goals. I know you guys are obviously doing extremely well, but just hear about maybe some current challenges and how okay. you can achieve those goals in the future. And then third of all, if everything goes well today, I'd love to create a partnership that's mutually beneficial for Absolutely. Salesforce and Absolutely. Let's Yeti. see what you guys have to offer. All right, great. Well, before we get started, I wanted to obviously ask a few questions. Do you mind? No, not at all. Okay, great. And then I'll take a few notes as well. Is that of good? Of course. Okay, great. Well, um, again, to start off, I know we talked about this at the tailgate, but you guys have been doing extremely well, so congratulations. We have. This year was a big year for us. We uh, broke through the $400 million revenue yes. point, so we're actually at $450 in revenue this year. That is amazing. Congratulations on Thank that. You. I know that was probably some so, hard work. It was, yes, it was a lot of, it was a long time coming. So. <laughs> exactly. Well, Based off of that, what are your plans to grow? I know that that number and just your achievements are already so great, but you guys still want to kind of keep moving forward. Are you thinking as a percentage or some more like ideas of what we're thinking about growth? Um, really, however you want to answer just, yeah, percentage growth. I think that we're really going to try to focus on a 15 to 20% increase over the next year, two years. Okay. Perfect. That obviously is a high number, but the way you guys are rolling, you so, know, <laughs> got to set the goals high. Exactly. Well, that's great. Um, off that 15, 20% growth. Um, how many sales reps do you currently have that you could utilize to achieve that growth? Right now with our inside team and our outside team together, we have about a hundred reps. Okay. Uh, but I know that as we grow as a company and as our products keep getting out there, we really want to be able to increase our team about, 50 people within the next couple years okay. so up to 150 but right now we're at 100 at 100 okay that's great to hear and about how many managers would you say you have for those 100 reps that you currently utilize we have about one manager per 10 reps so about probably 10 managers okay and then you're gonna have a manager ahead of those so really 10 11 okay great um so i guess could you walk me through like the system or the process that your salespeople go through when they make a sale with Yeti? Absolutely. Do you, just so I can clarify, do you mean what they do with dealing with the customer or how they relay, relay it back to our company at Yeti? First, just with the customer for the salespeople, and then we can kind of talk about your managers in a few minutes. Okay, so when they go and talk to the uh, customer, they just go and they really write down all the information they've been passed on before them about okay. that customer, about what they've ordered and what they have bought in the past and when and how much and then after that they write it down and whatever they find easiest if it's either taking notes or putting it in an excel sheet or a word document they do that and then they send that up to their managers okay so then i guess the second part of that question like you said so internally what happens when your managers get those excel sheets and word documents are they happy mm -hmm. stressed what's their emotion well, towards that they're getting all of those customers from their 10 reps that they are in charge of. So mm -hmm. it's it's a lot of information to dig through. It's definitely a lot 
for one person to have to deal with, but they usually just get through there and they probably are dedicating a good bit of their time just adding that information into our systems at the office. Okay, so you mentioned time. You mentioned a lot of time spent on mm -hmm. that database. How much time would you say per week a manager is really putting his time towards doing that? Logistically, probably around 15 hours. 15 hours. And how much would you value your manager's hour of work? Obviously a lot. They're great yeah. managers, great employees. Are you meaning probably what I would put a number value on mm -hmm. it? Probably about $100 an hour. $100 an hour. Wow, that's a lot. So per week you're saying that you have 15 hours at $100 an hour, which obviously equals it's, quite a deficit. Yes, it is. It's definitely not the most efficient use of mm -hmm. their time, especially because I know how much they can truly contribute to the company when they're given the chance instead of having to use their time on this. Okay, good to know. And how do you prospect? Like with creating that pipeline, how do your salespeople go out and find new leads at the moment? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, right now, I think that the only way they're finding new leads is asking the current customers. And uh, that's really about it. I mean, okay. there's not really a database that we have that's going to tell us, hey, this could be a possible, you know, customer for you guys. Right now, it's just word of mouth through our previous and current customers. Okay, so with that word of mouth or the previous customers, are they, do you guys have a database or is it more those Excel sheets and Word documents that they're going in there and again on their own time just entering in those names? Well, for outside sales and their managers, there's definitely, they have to combine all that information, but it can go into a single kind of Excel Word doc at the end here, but that's really our only database is what, is all, what, what it's all put together at the end. Okay, so um, would you say that you've had a few issues or errors with that input system? I don't know if we've had errors. I can't tell you for sure, but mm -hmm. to tell you that we haven't is also very unrealistic. I would definitely say that there's been errors in the past. I just don't know if we've actually been able to catch them. Okay. Um, no, I completely understand. Obviously, you're very busy, so you know, obviously you can't be an overarching goal of checking everyone, but if you could put maybe a percentage of value lost and your annual revenue based off of maybe some of those just human errors, what would you value that at? It's not a lot, which is the good news, good. but uh, it's about maybe half a percent, a percent of our total revenue. Okay. Good to know. I mean, like we said, it is, we are human, so completely, completely understood with that. So going off of maybe just a question to ask you, if you could create your quote unquote perfect, I know. It's an interesting word, but a perfect yes. CRM system for Yeti, what characteristics would that would that have? Well, we definitely want to focus on having the best customer information available. Okay. Right now, the only things that they can see are numbers related to these customers. And even though our outside sales team is really holding the personal information and who they are as people, I think that to benefit the whole company would really be great for everyone to see that information because mm -hmm. if inside sales team or the marketing team feels like they have some information or they have something that could, you know, benefit the outside sales team, they could definitely use that. And then uh -huh. I would also say that we want something that we're going to be able to track our outside sales force with to see what they're going to be uh -huh. able to do, see where their uh, growth is going to be at. If there's any areas that seem to be hurting, we definitely want to be able to track that and really fix it before mm -hmm. it becomes a bigger problem. And uh, probably our final thing is just going to be able to have a place where all that information on the customers is going to be. Perfect. So I know that we did talk about today and how passionate you were about Yeti and you wanting the customers as well as the people that work for Yeti to be extremely passionate. So yes. those three characteristics do go back to your mission at Yeti Absolutely. and your mission to have. Our, our biggest thing right now, I guess our overarching issue is that as a company, we really value our customers and we really mm -hmm. value our mission statement and I think that as we grow our ability to do that is really kind of deteriorating and we want to make sure that we can bring it all back together and show these customers that we really are the company that they started with a couple years ago and that we're really the best company out there and that our mission statement and values will be held true throughout everything. No that's great to hear I know um, one of the reasons I got into Salesforce is because I do believe in our product so much so it helps 
tremendously when you can stand behind, behind the product that you sell and that you're really talking to Absolutely. Customers From about. what I've heard, Salesforce really has a lot to offer. So Yes. Well, based off of these, um, if I could tell you that we could create that holistic view for, for you, we could have that tracking report to make sure that all of your salespeople are up to date with their sales and just, again, connect back with your customers and give them that passionate like vision that you've had to begin with, would you be interested in seeing a demo of Salesforce? I would absolutely be interested. I would love to see all that stuff into one. Okay, great. Do you mind if I actually scoot next no, to you at the table? At okay, perfect. I'm a little slow. I apologize. That's I'll, okay. I'll scoot over here. All right. Thank you. Just bumping everything I possibly can. All right, so. What we have here, um, this is the Salesforce overarching view of, you know, just everything that you can see from the start. So, I mean, okay. what are your... Is this going to be your home screen? This is. What are your okay. first thoughts about this? It's It seems to flow nicely. It seems like everything's held right here. Yeah. So, obviously, there's more to it than just this, though, I'm assuming. Exactly. Well, I did want to start here, actually, because with this, you can customize it with anything you want. So I know that the Yeti logo is very well known. Mm -hmm. I have it all around my house. So if you would like to put the Yeti logo up there, any color you would like, just really any preference you have, yeah, you can mm -hmm. just kind of click around with that. Absolutely. As a girl, pink is always on <laughs> I completely understand. So if you'd actually click in the top left corner up here, perfect. So right here, this is showing you, I know you mentioned that um, holistic view that you would like on your screen. So if you again, just see this, this shows you literally from start to finish of a sales okay. process. That's so you can awesome. start you with can your track pipeline. Them in every way. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And if you would actually click the next tab to the right over there. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So this, again, I know you mentioned that you have some great salespeople inside mm -hmm. and out and they kind of are losing track of really what they're working on or Absolutely. some of the customers that they're working with. So this, as you can see, this like nice little pinwheel right here can cut out per salesperson. It tells how much revenue they bring in. So you can ah. connect the revenue to the actual salesperson. Really? Is there a way to see this for every sales rep and compare them? Yes, there is. Ah, yes. You guys can competition. Exactly. Start like a happy hour for the, mm -hmm. the winner or some kind of um, Absolutely. reward for them. It'll, it'll create some... Some good, some good talk, talking around the office for sure. And then third, I know you did want to focus on the customer. So again, just one more click to the right. And um, right here, this just is great with the communication and the collaboration for everyone from your managers to your customers. Okay. And so it'll give you just a great view and great... Of everything. Uh, really of everything. And just so you know that you're giving the best service as possible. So you can literally see the first conversation you had with the customer to the final sale. So this is all really, really great. Is mm -hmm. there, obviously our outside sales reps are on the field and moving and whatnot, and they're not always going to have access to the laptop. Is this going to be, oh, oh, right. okay. That's what I was going to say. Is this going to be in a mobile device? Yes. And I, I will say very candidly, I, before working for Salesforce, knew how to text and call, <laughs> maybe email on a good day. Mm -hmm. But this, just the whole system and CRM system is so easy to use from your phone, on your computer. Say you're outside salesperson, leaving a store, mm -hmm. just made a great sale, and put it right on Salesforce, and it goes straight to your computer. Awesome. Yeah, so it really, I swear, if I can get this to work, <laughs> almost okay. anyone can. Awesome. Yeah, that's so great. I know I'm really glad you asked that question because that's something we really pride ourselves mm -hmm. on, on being able, being able to use the mobile device as well. I mean, as it the really computer. connects the outside sales team to the office when they're away. Exactly, yes. It sounds great. So do you have any other um, questions you'd like to ask on the system? Well, the system seems great. It mm -hmm. really does. But I think that we haven't got to talk about one of the biggest things. So how much is this really going to cost for our company and each of our employees? Yeah. No, I'm so glad you asked that. I'm actually going to skip this over. I'm mm -hmm. a very visual person. Yeah, I'll check that. Um, so I, again, just love to really um, work off of numbers and I have to see the numbers well. So to start, the first month setup fee is going to be $25,000 to come in with first class training, I'll be there every okay. step of the way, a extremely seamless integration, like mm -hmm. I said, if I can do it. 
Yeah, okay. faith. <laughs> um, and then after that, per person per month is one hundred and eighty five. $85. So again, okay. you're around 100 employees right now. That's $18,500. Mm-hmm. So for the first month, you're coming in at $43,500. And then okay. the next month, you're dropping off to only $18,500. That's it's a high startup fee. I do understand that completely. And I do want to actually reiterate and kind of go back to a few numbers. And okay. so again, just to check with you, you did say that you had your manager spending about 15 hours a week and putting that data into a database valued at yes. $100 an hour. Yes. Okay, so if you do the 15 hours a week times 100 times your 52 week in a year, that rounds up, up to about $78,000. Wow. Did you realize that that was kind of the price point or the price tag on that time that your managers are being spent doing that? No, absolutely not. That's... Looking at that, that's a high number. Yeah, no, I understand that. It's probably a little higher than you thought, which is very understandable. And maybe to go on to another number you mentioned earlier, you said that um, that error is costing you about half to a whole percent of yes. your annual revenue. So, again, just some math here, one percent would be $4.5 million. Of just some error. lost information. Just, just some just lost human, information. Yes. Um, yeah, so, again, what are your thoughts at the moment, just based off of maybe the... Four point five million teeter tottered with the forty eight thousand for the first month of setup. I mean, obviously, when you look at the two numbers, Mm -hmm. it seems like a no brainer. I think it's just it's very shocking. I would have never thought that this much money was even being wasted because we didn't know it was being wasted. So I guess are we going to be able to recapture this money and help it grow since we do still have a a a growth point that we want to reach? Exactly, and that growth point will be achievable and a very realistic goal with okay. Salesforce. We are here to help you achieve your goals. We want to create value in your company as well as keep this very mutually beneficial. So we would love and are excited to bring you back that growth in your company and take out that $4.5 million of misinformation. Awesome. Great. I mean, it all seems like a great number, a great idea, and uh, I really think you guys could benefit our company a lot. Great. Well, I did actually take the liberty today to bring a sales agreement along with me, and what this is here, this just gives all of the information that we talked about, and then if you just like to sign right here, it can ensure you that we can come in tomorrow to start this training with you, and then get going on all mm-hmm. of that for Salesforce is with Yeti. I will say that I love it. I think that this is really great, but I am going to have to talk to our head of sales okay. and uh, our head of finance because even though I think that it's really something great to offer, I'm going to have to talk to them because they also have a lot to do with this. So would you mind if I probably called you later on after I'm able to talk to them? I completely understand what you're saying and love that you'll get to talk with them. Um, based off of our meeting today, I know it was a little earlier in the morning, but I'd love to maybe schedule one next week. Do you Are you a morning person? I'm a morning person. Okay, great. How is your schedule look at about 9 a.m. on next Tuesday? That works for me, and uh, I can make sure that the other people that need to come will definitely be available. Okay, great. And I did actually print out this, um, just a few notes from today's meeting that you can share okay. with them. So again, you have my card. Are these going to have all the numbers in them as well? They are. Awesome. So yes, again, if you have any questions before the meeting on Tuesday, please feel free to give me a call. Okay. Great. Awesome. Thank you awesome. so much, Addy. Thank you so much. Have for a this. great day. It was good to see you. Thank you.